The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm cool with that. Oh crap! Ooh. I'm gonna lose. Yep, yep, yep. I think this is it, buddy. He's a lone pro. Because you still got to deal with the bottom half after this, and he's got that wonderful spell Sandstorm. And on Gino, or I mean on Mallow, he's not gonna be able to do a lot. Well, it's not for sure that you'll have to deal with the bottom, because after all, all of the other bosses have been heavily edited. The day will come when all will have to deal with the bottom. Just think of how much street cred you'll get if Mallow finishes this off by himself. Yeah. It'll be amazing. The monster is storing power. That's not good. Uh-oh. Big bang! Ow! <laughs> Was I supposed to be able to defend against that? Not sure. So, hey, my first loss. Yay! Well, and it was the cake. Because it is always the blasted cake. It happens. I have a bone to pick with that cake. But cakes don't have bones. Um, you'd be surprised. I ate a cake yesterday that had, like, two turkey bones in it. Whoever made that cake for you, I would not be eating it again. It was Grandma. What is Grandma doing putting chicken in her cakes? I said turkey bones. Oh, turkey. My bad. That makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? Turkey. Just nod your head and agree. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. By the way, M Princess Peach here says, Mario, let's start with you. Is she actually planning on kissing Bowser and Bo Booster? Yeah, that's kind of a good question. Hmm. That would explain a lot. Score. Hey, why don't you just admit it? You want you you lost on purpose so you could try to get the uh, better um, reward for doing that within a timely manner. No, the issue is I forgot to check who was in my party. I wanted Bowser at my party, and um, apparently once you come into this room, you cannot switch. So I still have Gino in my party. Oh well. All right. I didn't realize that there was any possible way to get Bowser in your party for this fight. Well, he's sort of with us now. Punch that cake! Punch that cake! Okay, let's think about this in a rational manner. How are you going to change this oh, up really? so that this time... Wow. How many pick me up? Or yeah, how many pick me ups do you have? Not enough. Oh, maybe the timing was changed. Hold on, can I like light this early? Good thought. No. I think this is essentially the same enemy. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get this on Gino because Gino's the one that. No, of course not. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh... You'll get it one day. Nope. 
Too bad attack up can't be stacked. Oh my gosh. It costs so much, you know? Oh yeah, Roster hasn't seen that yet. Oh, have you not uploaded it yet? No, I haven't uploaded any of the Booster Tower videos yet. Oh. Oh. Well, uh... Guess how much Genoboost cost? Hmm. Um... Wild guess. My guess would be an arm and a leg. Now? Yes. A freaking arm and a leg and a few fingers off your good arm, the arm that's left. They, 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 they want you to pay 14 per cast. My goodness. Why even bother? 12, actually. 12? Oh, is it 12? Oh, okay, well, there you go. 12. Yeah, but you can get, like, how many healing spells off for that same price? Right. I, 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 I would still do it. I love it. I cannot stand not being able to... You know, I'm already RPG. is not, not one of those high-end damage games, you know? You don't ever do a lot of damage, so I just... I always feel insignificant. Well, you know, the Paper Mario series, when you're doing so little damage, it's just... I like seeing big numbers. I played this guy, by the way. <laughs> Mister, I beat Final Fantasy IV at below level 50. Do without you have using it on camera, the Because I would I'm love to see that. To that. <sighs> low level runs are. I tried a low level run of Chrono Trigger once, and I couldn't beat it because. Uh, Wabos' opening spell just immediately killed everyone. <laughs> no hope. No chance. My god, hey, do you think I would have gotten it once by now? Alright, um, off camera, I am going to be practicing this at uh, the Geno Boost. Because it costs way too much magic to be casting it over and over like this. I'm just gonna Truth. keep my regular defense and hope for the best. Still can't believe he changed the dialogue like that. I can. No. Well, as long as you're gonna be doing it, might as well have fun with it, yes? I should have healed. Alright, who are you putting to sleep this time? Why is it always Gino? Because Gino is weak. Alright, where's that bracer thing? Can I get a, get a freebie because, you know, I could actually... Thank you. I will be back for just a second. Sure. Alright. Also, this episode is turning out kind of long because I lost, but whatever. I really don't care at this moment. defend against that. Oh well, I got- I survived anyway. You know what, Gino, you need to be awake for this. Oh, I have a red essence in my inventory. Yeah? I could've used that on Mallow. Oh, you wanna actually use the red essence now? I could have. True, you could have. I, well, that original attempt, I don't think it would've made much of a difference. I think 
Even with the red essence, it wasn't going to really do a lot for you. Well, it would have helped me survive that bomb attack. Yeah, but after the bomb attack... I would have tried. No. Sorry, I disappeared for a second there. Oh, no worries. I had to take what we in the Final Fantasy XI community used to call a bio break. Uh, that's a new one on me. Well, there was an auto translator that used to, um, you know, translate stuff between English and Japanese. And the term bio and break, which were two spells, indicated that, hey, I have to go to the can. Oh, Japanese. okay. Gotcha. Not sure why. Never really understood it, but it's the way it was. True boring story. That backfire kind of gets annoying. Take this bunt cake and turn it into a punt cake. Kick it. Kick it hard. Alright, I think I know how to deal with that whole bomb thing now. Cause... Do you? Yeah, because it blew up after that last panel had been put out. And I still had a few turns allowed before it actually blew up. So, once that last candle goes out, I am going to defend like crazy. Okay. And heal up, if necessary. Well, if I take the time to heal up, I won't be defending, and I'll get killed in one hit. Well, I mean, if you have a character that has full hit points and a character that has two hit points, you know. Well, yeah. Heal up with a character that has full hit points and defend with the one that has two. I still have a couple pick-me-ups left right now. I somehow ex knew that I would be dying against a cake. It's like... That'd be... There, I knew there would be some sort of switch up that would kill me. And it did. I, I swear, man. My theory was the cake would be your first actual game over. I was going with Eurydivage. The cake is no joke. Uh, it is a jerk face. It's a jerk. Okay, I failed that. But with his... dead eyes... made of what? icing. Wait, what? It... it... wait... I blinked. What happened? Um, I beat it, it did not blow up, and I'm not fighting the bottom part. It knows what it did. Fortunately, that jolly red viking... Who doesn't know what a cake is? is going to eat his way to victory. So, I do not have to fight the bottom part. Well, I would say that's not really a difficult change, but... I lost. But you lost. So... I'm not complaining. I don't know. So why did it blow up? Is it there? Maybe there's like a time limit that where the candles are going out as an indication that I'd better be fighting it in a hurry or else I'm dead. Maybe the candles are going out to indicate that some sort of cosmic presence just blows. 
the candles. <laughs> it's a metaphor of some sort. I'm not a warrior poet. So if I hadn't uh, spent so much time trying to use booster or the, the trying to use the Geno boost, I probably would have beaten it the first try. You know what? You're probably right. Maybe we shouldn't worry about Geno boost so much anymore. Well, I'm going to worry about it off camera. Certainly not. Certainly oh. not at 12 MP. I wouldn't. Yeah, it's not worth using for like regular battles anymore. Which is bad because this is a harder version of the game. You think you'd want to use it more. It's not worth using for any battles because when you really think about it, in any major battles, your characters are going to be dying and being brought back so often that you won't really have time to appreciate something that costs 12 MP. Or FPN. True. Well, except whenever you manage to get the defensive boost, it cuts your damage in half. Yeah, but I'm talking about stuff like Culex, where you just die every single round. Which might actually happen. Oh gosh, I wonder how I wonder how he's been changed. I can't really imagine. And I completely forgot well, what I was we'll find out. doing with Bowser. Ah, uh, Bowser. Oh, you now I Power remember. House. What level did we reach here? Thirteen. So I'm gonna bring up his HP a bit. If overalls were shining armor. Spoiler, Peach eventually ma marries Bowser. Yep. True story. And the peasants rejoice. Yay. Alright, so Peach is in our party now, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there she is. Let's see, what are her stats compared to whoever? No, I don't know. Let's just check her equipment. She's got a pink dress. Yep, it's pink. And what about her special attacks? Oh, of course, I gotta switch out party members in order to look at her. Therapy. Absolutely. She doesn't know group hug yet. Therapy costs 3 FP instead of 2. I'm fine with that. And One so... could say <coughs> hmm? that while Batman has the most awesome power of all, which is the power of money, Princess Peach has the second most powerful power of all, which is diplomatic immunity. Which is why she gets kidnapped um, all the time. Um, I've learned that uh, from the from the Lethal Weapon movies, that that'll only get you so far before you get a bullet in the face. Yeah, but no one in the Mushroom Kingdom has a bullet, except for Bullet Bill. Sniffets. And, you know, and the Sniffets. <laughs> right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good point. But Booster has already proclaimed that he will not hurt his beloved Peach. Fair enough. I say we should have left her with Booster, because when you think about it, Booster would do a heck of a lot better job protecting Peach than anybody in the Mushroom Kingdom would. Poor excuse for Mushroom I'm Guards. I mean, Booster nearly kicked our butts. He'd probably be able to do a pretty good job at it. Booster should be the new palace guard. He'd probably abuse that power in some way. If he was smarter, he would. But therein lies the problem. Go now find a bush kid. Fun
Look at them, they're so cute. By the way, it's a little known fact that Mario is a registered preacher. A priest, whatever. Mario is a... Regis oh, that's right. Li yeah, license, license priest. In fact, he has this... Why not? He's also a... He has this puzzle game on the NES called Mario Marries People. And in it, you're supposed to match the men with the woman. And... I guess the game wouldn't work out too well because now there's all these gay people and they wouldn't like the game. It being wanting the game to be more politically politically Yeah, that. <laughs> that word. <laughs> and Definitely. which would mean that you could pretty much match anybody with anybody and it, then it'd be too easy to win the game. Japan's so wacky. I thought fungi were saprophytic anyway. Something I thought of. Is that, is that Todovsky or is it Toad of Sky? Definitely Wait. Todovsky. Yeah. It, it's got to be Play Todovsky. Play on Tchaikovsky. Right. Also, right. I present to everybody the best Easter egg in the entire game. Of course, these two can't hear because Mikogo does not transfer sound, but trust me, it's actually pretty dang funny. I can't remember what it is. No. I used to do that a lot when I was a kid. Anyway, I've been recording for a while. Oh wait, no, we got one more thing to do. We gotta get pictures taken! Right? Yes. Remember that There's... kid who's been wanting to take a leak this entire time? Still holding it in. There's one thing I love, it's crashing people's wedding photos. A pastime and... I used to engage in when I was going to school at Berea, Kentucky. There, now because the next the, group can... the campus was right next to... Was that? The campus was right next to a wedding chapel. And my friends and I used to just show up, you know, just for the heck of it, at people's weddings. That's really funny. funny. <laughs> I mean, that... that <laughs> Why not? Are you with the bride or the groom? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. And I picked up that bad habit from this game. Alright. Now we're done. We're going to end this episode because it's kind of long. I might just split it into two. I don't know. We'll find out. Or you'll find out. Or who knows. Somebody will find out. Who cares who finds out. This is the end of the episode. Next time, we're going to do stuff. Sayonara. Woohoo!